Hey. This is not a volleyball, this is Mr. Panda. Damn, I'm so original. Well, Mr. Panda here is going to be helping us with our custom today. And the reason is because I have no friends and Mr. Panda is my only friend. Yo, what you talking about? I don't even want to be your friend. Like, what? <laughs> Why am I talking to an inanimate object? Yeah. But on a serious note, we're going to be finishing this custom, the Haikyuu Hinata custom. And if you haven't checked out that custom yet, then make sure it's like, I'm gonna put it right here, right? Check it out after this video. I will give you an A plus for listening and follow instructions, like, who doesn't want an A plus, right? Alright, this is gonna be a chill video, so just sit back, relax, and just enjoy this chill painting custom kind of thing. So, you know, getting my paintboard first, cleaning it, it's very satisfying to just peel the paint off. And for the first step, I am going to take some acetone. And the proper way to customize the shoe is just to get rid of the factory finish first. Wipe it down, and I'm gonna start with, you know, using the orange because I want to get that down first. Now I'm gonna apply like two, no, no, actually three layers of it so that the paint won't come off that easily. It's quite a tedious part of the custom because I have to make sure that the paint doesn't spill over to the other areas of the shoe. Because the thing is, once it gets on the white leather, I can't really paint it over with white paint and it's really hard to remove. So you gotta just, you know, be really careful when you do that. So these acrylic paint is quite adhesive and it dries pretty quickly. So I had to use acetone to just clean my brush. So a lot of people ask me, how do I paint these anime skins? It's really not that hard. You just get two colors, mix them together and then just paint them. Cause like these anime characters, they don't have acne. They don't have like wrinkles. So you don't have to worry about that. Honestly, if that was in real life, wait, that would be kind of weird if you have no acne or wrinkles in real life but anyways i'm free heading this whole entire thing because i realized that using a pencil is just way too much work just eyeball it if there were some mistakes i just cover it with paint or just add a little bit more paint adding some highlights to his hair you know getting that nice shine because his hair is damn straight and smooth the thing is i only watched the first two seasons of haiku and i didn't realize that i actually enjoyed it that much um i think i will continue watching it once i have more time but i think it's just because the characters are really interesting um they have this like really n interesting personality um so i'm about done with this pair of shoes if you guys have noticed i actually drew kageyama and hinata on the inside of the shoe because you know i'm trying to go for a more simple and aesthetic style i don't want like a big anime face on the outside uh, you know let me know what you guys think you guys enjoyed this custom i really enjoyed making these two and it's finally done personally i don't really like orange but i think it actually looks really good on this custom because you know it's hinata it's haiku kageyama they they gotta be together right the setter and the spike so i'm gonna send this away i don't know the spike Ooh. oh my god okay anyways if you guys enjoy these customs, if you guys like my content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.